Hey you guys, um, welcome to my first ever class on YouTube. So thank you so much for being here. My name is Brittany Bryden. Um, I just want to give you a heads up that I am not filming in a studio. I am filming in my house and as chaotic as a house can be, sometimes you might see my dog kind of like trickle into the videos. Um, I have to film during times that my son is sleeping, so at some points, if he's like kind of stirring a little bit, you might hear some noises from him. So I just wanted to give you a heads up. Um, but hey, it's real life, right? So again, thank you for being here. Welcome, and let's get started. So for today's practice, um, we're gonna do kind of some opening through the chest, shoulder area. Um, I highly suggest you having two blocks for your practice, but if you don't have two blocks, don't worry about it. Um, just ignore when I'm cueing blocks um, if you don't have them. So let's get going. We'll start off with those blocks. You're gonna turn to face the front of your mat, and the blocks are just gonna be on the lowest height as you come into table. So if you don't have blocks, your hands are just on the ground. And we're gonna just start to move through the spine. So you're gonna lift the chest forwards and the tailbone up as you get some extension through the spine. And then find some flexion as you round and push away from the floor. You're gonna continue with cat-cow, but I'm not gonna cue you anymore because I just want you to go inwards and pay attention to how your body is feeling right now. And notice where the body feels some resistance, where does it feel stuck? And just move, create space in that area. Sense your breath. Let's go through one more round. And then make your way into a neutral spine. Your right hand is gonna come behind the back of the head. You're gonna open the chest towards the right side and take your right elbow to the ceiling. And then close that off. You're gonna tap the right elbow to the left elbow, but keep that left arm stable. Open the chest to the right, send your elbow up. And then tap your right elbow to the left elbow. You're gonna keep going with these rotations. There's no need to rush it. It's actually a lot juicier if you slow it down. And then the next time that you open up, reach your right arm to the ceiling and pull that top hand away from the bottom hand. And then slide or take that right arm underneath. You're gonna come in with thread the needle, so you might have to adjust your blocks. Your right arm's coming down on the floor and your head is just coming in between the blocks. So from there, you're gonna come onto your fingertips. And as you press your fingertips into the floor or block, you're gonna roll that left shoulder back, lift the chest up, but try not to shift through the pelvis. And this is one of my favorites. Take a few more rests there. And then reach your right arm up towards the ceiling, open the chest towards the right. And then set your right hand down onto the block. Left hand comes behind the back of the head. Open the chest towards the left, send your elbow up, and then tap your left elbow to your right elbow. Keep going with those rotations. Just at your pace. And the next time that you open up, reach that left arm up towards the ceiling. And thread the needle, so take that left arm underneath. Ground the left arm as well as that left ear, coming onto your left fingertips. Pressing the fingertips down, rolling the right shoulder back, lifting the chest. Keep in mind what's going on in the body from the pelvis down. And then reach your left arm back up towards the ceiling. And then set your left hand down onto the block. You're gonna tuck your toes under, pick the hips up and back, finding a down dog. So just making sure if you're using blocks that they're on the sticky part of the mat. And pedal at the legs, bending one knee, straighten the other, shifting side to side. If you are sliding a little bit, then make your down dog a little shorter than you usually do. And then take a moment, just finding stillness. I love the space that the blocks can give your body. You're gonna lift the heels up, bending your knees and then walk forwards until your feet land behind the blocks. Keeping the knees bent, let your head just drop. Your hands can stay on the blocks, they can stay on the floor, you can reach for either elbow. 
Closing down the eyes, let the head hang. You can stay there in stillness or you can rock a little side to side. And bring the hands down onto the blocks. Keep your knees bent. Nice and slow, you'll roll the spine. So you can walk your hands up the legs to assist you. And then once you come to the top, just reach both arms up towards the ceiling. Bending the knees, hinge from the hips and fold forwards and towards the legs. Fingertips on the blocks or bring your fingertips to the shins and lift up halfway, lengthen the spine. And then fold forwards and towards your legs. Coming to stand, reach both arms up. And then hands come together, heart prayer. So we'll do that again, reach both arms up. Hinging from the hips, fold forwards and towards your legs. Take a halfway lift to lengthen. And then fold forwards. Coming to stand, both arms sweep up. And then hands come together, heart prayer. One more time, arms reach up. Folding forwards. Halfway lift to lengthen. And then fold down. And you're going to take a big step back with your right leg. So wiggle the right toes back a bit. Set the back knee down onto the floor and adjust your blocks to the highest height. So the blocks are just going to frame around that left foot. Fingertips come onto the blocks and just start to lift your chest up. And then you shift the hips back. Coming into a half split, flex your left foot as you draw the toes back towards your face. And then bend back into your front leg, low lunge, lift the chest up. And then half split, hips go back. So one more time, you're going to bend into your front leg. And then half split, so hips shift back. You can adjust your blocks closer to you or either further away. That left leg does not need to be fully straight. So you can bend that knee as much as you need here. Keep drawing the toes back towards your face. And then you're gonna bend back into your front leg. Now I want you to take one of those blocks, doesn't matter which one, place the block in between the palm of the hands and reach the block up towards the ceiling. You're gonna bend the elbows and just rest the head or the block behind the back of the head. So if you don't have a block, just interlace the hands behind the back of the head. Wrap the elbows in towards the midline. Lift the crown of the head up, tilt the elbows up, and then lean back just slightly. And then come back to center. Place that block down where it was. Tuck your right toes under, pick up your right knee. So you're gonna lunge, draw that right heel right above the toes, hug the left hip back, keep power in the legs. Take your left hand behind the back of the head. So you're gonna open the chest towards the left, send the elbow up, and then close off that gate, tap the left elbow towards the right elbow. And then open the chest towards the left, elbow up, and then close it off. So you're gonna continue with those rotations. They should look familiar because we did it at the beginning. Keeping power in those legs. Next time that you open up, reach that top hand away from the bottom hand, and then set your hand onto the block. Push off your back foot and step forwards to the top. Bend your knees and take a big step back now with your left leg. Set your left knee down on the floor. Hands are on the blocks. You're in a low lunge, so lift the chest up. Half split, hips go back, flexing the right foot. Bend into the front leg, chest lifts. And then half split, hips go back. One more time, bend into your front leg. Half split, hips go back, stay here. Bending into the front leg, taking whichever block you'd like, place the block in between the palm of the hands, reach a block up, and then rest the block behind the back of the head, elbows wrap in, lift the crown of the head up, and then lean back into that block, tilt the elbows up, just make sure you're not holding the breath. It will be slightly restricted, but make sure you're not holding and tightening up. Come back to center, set your block back down, put power in your back leg, so pick up that knee. Feel like you're pulling your feet in towards one another and then your right hand comes behind the back of the head. Open the chest towards the right, send the elbow up and then tap the right elbow towards the left elbow. So continue with those rotations.
And the next time that you open up, reach your right arm to the ceiling. Set your right hand down onto the block. Adjust your blocks to the lowest height, framing the right foot and step back into downward dog. You're gonna roll forwards into a plank. So you can either keep your knees up or set your knees down, but nice and slow, you're gonna bend the elbows and come all the way down in between the blocks. Shoulder heads rest on the blocks, arms reach back. Press the tops of the feet on the floor and press the back of the hands into the ground. Engage the inner thighs, engage your glutes, roll the shoulders back and start to lift the head and the chest up and draw your fingers down towards your feet. So really reach and then lower back down. We'll do two more like that. Roll the shoulders back, lift the head, lift the chest, reach the fingers back and then lower down. One more time, roll the shoulders back, lift the head, lift the chest, reach and then lower down. Hands onto the blocks or the floor Tuck your toes under, press yourself into table, and then just shift your hips back for a child's pose. And take a few breaths there, close the eyes. Feel the breath moving in and out of the nose. Witnessing what is pulling your attention, where the mind is trailing off to. And can you come back to the present? You're gonna roll forwards in a table. And then just take your legs, come onto your bums and just take your legs out in front of you. So give your legs a good shake and you're gonna take your blocks and create a T-shape at the back of the mat. So I suggest starting with the blocks on the lowest height, but you can adjust them to any height that suits you. You'll just kind of play around with it. You want your bum to be comfortably on the ground. One block is going to support your upper thoracic. The other block will support your head. So you might have to walk your shoulder blades slightly underneath you and just rest the back of the hands on the floor. So you can either take your arms out into more of a T shape or you can slide your hands a little closer towards the glutes. Just depends on how the shape feels for you in the moment. Closing the eyes. Relax through the face, the jaw, the neck. In this posture, I like to envision that if there's anything that I'm holding on to, any kind of energy that's stuck in my body, the stuff that no longer serves me. I like to envision like it's falling out of my body here. I no longer need it. What I need more is to create space, to soften, Constantly returning to your breath. This is a great place to close off, especially if you're doing this practice first thing in the morning or maybe midday. But if you prefer to close off, on your back, stomach, on your side. Just make sure that wherever you end up, you take at least five minutes to yourself to connect in and pay attention to what's going on beneath the skin before you leave your mat and you go into the rest of your day. I wanna thank you so much for joining me. Always be humble and be kind. Thank you, namaste.